I think most Miami Dolphins fans will agree with me in saying the team had a moderately successful year in 2012, despite the fact they finished 7-9 and and ranked 27th in the NFL in total offense and 21st in total defense. That's because the bar was set very low for this team coming into the year. Most people, myself included, thought they were going to be awful. A first-year head coach in Joe Philbin, a rookie quarterback in Ryan Tannehill, a guy with limited experience in the quarterback position, period, even in college, and seemed like there were a lack of playmakers surrounding Tannehill, but the Dolphins were competitive. They hung around in the playoff race until the end of the year. They had a solid defense. They finished seventh in scoring defense, the most important defensive stat, despite having some problems in the secondary. And on offense, Tannehill, he showed something. I mean, he looks like the guy of the future to me in Miami. I know he was overshadowed by fellow rookies Robert, Robert Griffin III, Russell Wilson, and Andrew Luck. But Tannehill, 58% completion percentage, threw for over 3,200 yards, moved the offense at times, despite, I mean, let's face it, not being surrounded by much. The Dolphins' top two wide receivers were Brian Hartline and Devon Bess. Bess is a slot guy, and Hartline is a possession-type wide receiver. They don't have anybody on that team that commands a double team, and the addition of a player like that would really help this offense out. And the Dolphins are in good position to add a guy like that. Not only through the draft, they picked 12th in April's draft, but they have plenty of money to spend. Nearly $44 million under the cap are the Dolphins. General Manager Jeff Ireland is probably going to be aggressive in free agency this offseason because you know there were calls for his job last year, and he saved his job this past season, even though the Dolphins didn't finish with a winning record. The time is now for Ireland. He needs to produce a contender. Otherwise, he will be replaced soon in Miami. And so I think the Dolphins are going to be active this offseason. Mike Wallace, the Pittsburgh wide receiver, it's been rumored he's a guy the Dolphins might target. And the addition of a guy like Mike Wallace to this offense would go a long, long way. Now, the Dolphins' most productive offensive player this last year was Reggie Bush. He accounted for around 1,300 all-purpose yards. But... It seems to be established now that Bush is not going to be the franchise back that many people thought he was going to be out of USC. And Bush is a free agent this offseason. And it seems to be, if you going by the comments from Reggie Bush himself and the lack of comments from the Dolphins' front office, it looks like they're prepared to move on from Reggie Bush. They do have a couple of young backs and Daniel Thomas and Lamar Miller. And you never know, they might add another guy either via the draft or free agency. So if the Dolphins can upgrade their skill position talent on offense, that's a must, and maybe add a difference maker in the secondary. They did have a bad secondary last year. Maybe their best player in the secondary, cornerback Sean Smith, is an unrestricted free agent, so they need to get him signed, maybe add another piece back there. You never know. This could be a playoff contender in 2013.